Hey everyone, this is Sindhu from Aware Mental Health. Welcome to day five of our video series on handling coronavirus anxiety. I'm going to quickly recap what we have been doing in the last four days. Say hi to our crumpled piece of paper. We spoke about how this crumpled piece of paper represents our unpleasant feelings and we gave it some qualities, we drew an outline, we contemplated a color to it. And we also saw that this, if this feeling could talk and communicate, we will start to see that this is tied to something that is of great meaning to us. So the clinical jargon word for this is value. So a feeling is tied to a value. And yesterday we also touched upon how when this feeling pops up, it is so unrealistic for us to think that we can suppress it and replace it with some calm relaxing feelings or we can just throw it away and get a new emotional happy state it's not going to work like that in this video today i'm going to ask you to try something a little bit different with me and i'm going to ask you to use your imagination for this so imagine that i give you a challenge and the challenge is you cannot throw this piece of paper away. Like there is no possible way out that you can throw this piece of paper away. And you also have to find a way to be in contact with this feeling, to be in contact with this piece of paper. What are some different strategies you can think of to be in touch with this piece of paper? I think the most obvious choice is that you hold it in your palm like this or cup it in your palm like this, or even maybe put it up on top of your head like this, or on top of your shoulder like this, or maybe even keep it on your lap like this, or keep it at arm's length like this, like you know, push it away from you like this. If you had a pocket, you could maybe put it inside the pocket. Or if you are looking for some funny strategies, you can maybe take this piece of paper, put it underneath you, and sit on it. Now let me ask you this. Out of all these strategies, which strategy or strategies felt less tiring, felt less distracting, and felt more freeing? Usually I hear people tell me that sitting on this piece of paper or putting it in the pocket or um, putting it on their lap that feels less tiring and that feels less distracting and that also feels like you have more freedom because your hands are free you're not holding it or keeping it away at your arm's length like this isn't that interesting when you keep this close to you and allow it to be there rather than pushing it away or keeping it at arm's length. That's so much better. When you're holding it in your hands or pushing it away like this, it's so tiring and it takes away a lot of your effort compared to sitting on it or putting it in your pocket or putting it on your lap. Let's say you're working on your computer and this news report comes up that talks about the increasing numbers of coronavirus all over the world. And whoop, this guy pops up, the irritation feeling. And you start to feel irritated. And you start to say something like, oh, I know why is this feeling coming up? I hate feeling irritated. I hate seeing the rising numbers. What is going to happen to the world, man? Why can't I just work in peace? Let me look for some distraction. Let me look at my phone. Let me talk to my friends and feel better. And well, yeah, it works like this irritation guy goes away temporarily, but he comes back again keeps coming back. I mean, there is no way, there's no way that when you see rising numbers of coronavirus all over the world, there's no way that unpleasant feelings will not show up. I would be scamming you if I told you, go ahead and look at those numbers and feel calm and feel peaceful. But if there is a way that when this irritation comes up, you can do something like this, you can do something like putting it in your pocket and allowing yourself to feel it, without it being distracting, without it being tiring. And 
with it being uh, more freeing like you can actually go ahead and do that thing that you value a lot which is to work productively wouldn't that be useful in a nutshell that's what this video series is all about that there is no way that we can stop these feelings from coming up this is normal and natural and we got to do something with it that is less distracting and less tiring and more freeing i promise you tomorrow in my next video i'm going to take you through an experiential exercise to illustrate what i mean by this so stick with me until tomorrow thank you bye bye